Hey guys, in this video we'll explain you the whole quest line of A Pirate's Tale. This is a quest introduced in the winter update of 2020. To begin with it, you have to find Eustacio. He is located near the Norse boat. Ask him for a mission and accept it to get started. You also need an orb and a flintstone. Ask him about those items. Then ask for the location of the pirate raids to see if there is an active raid right now. The raids appear in Port Hope, Thais, Kralos, Darasha and Liberty Bay. There are three types of raids and each type can happen at any of these places. In one of them, you will find pirates in the water near these cities. By using the water orb Eustacio gave you in the water nearby, you will be able to walk on it, just like if it was any other solid ground. Find these rats and kill them. Each kill will give you 5 points. In other raids, a ship may appear near the coast. You're going to have a stone and catapults nearby. You can use a pick on the stone to get ballistic boulders. Use them on the catapults and then use the flintstone Eustacio gave to you to put them on fire. Then, use the lever of the catapult to shoot the boulder to the ship. Each shot gives you 6 points and the raid ends when 50 shots are fired. And on other raids, pirates are going to be spawning on the area. Just kill them all. Each kill grants you 3 points. After collecting 1500 points, Eustacio will now trust you and will allow you to proceed with the quest. You must go to Isavi and find a seashell and use it to access a hidden cave where you will find exotic bats, exotic spiders and the new pirates on your way to the new island, Raskakum. Find the shaman NPC Tiki Take to know more about the missions and points you need in order to proceed with the quest. There are a few events in this island that you can do to earn points. The memory test located on the north of the island. You have to memorize the pattern on the middle of this area and step on it when it shows up. Each time you guess correctly gives you 5 thrust points. You can guess up to 10 times where you can earn a total of 50 thrust points. On the stealth mission you will have to sneak in a room full of rat guards. This one is located just before reaching the island. Talk to the NPC to earn access to the lever room. You have to avoid getting near the rat guards or you will be kicked out of the room. Use the ambient light to help yourself since the rat guards located in the pillars won't see you when their lights are off. Just beware of the timer you have on you. If it reaches zero you will be kicked out as well. When you get to the end, use the chest on the north to finish the mission and earn 200 thrust points. On the cheese mission, you have to move the cheese to the cellar and prevent the rats from eating it. Get this stuff from the chest to reveal the spy rats and kill them. And push all the cheese you can to the cellar in the middle of the room. You have a number on you when you get in. Keep it above zero and you will succeed. Each cheese you put in the cellar will grant you points and each cheese the rats destroy will take away some. When you succeed, you will also receive some thrust points. Repeat these missions to earn the necessary points to earn the trust of the shaman NPC. Report back to him and he will let you access a teleport where there will be a boat. You will be disguised as a rat. Get into the lever to face Tentogli, one of the bosses of this quest. You need to hit him on his head until he disappears. Then some tentacles will show up on the whole ship. You have to kill them all to make Tentogli appear again where he can be killed. He will drop a cheesy key and you will be able to ride the new mount. After this, you will reach a new island with more pirates. You can always come back here by asking the rat NPC on the ship for a safe route. Find your way to the teleport in the middle to face the last boss of this quest. This boss layer has a series of steps you have to do in order to proceed. You have to bring down the wall in the middle to advance. To do that, step near the wall so the catapult hits also damage the wall. You can bring the rum barrel nearby by pushing it so it can explode and damage the wall heavily. Once the wall is opened, get into the ship and attack the next boss. Take care of the elite pirates since they deal considerable damage. When the boss is wounded, a stair will open and you will be able to go upstairs to face a new boss. Attack him so you can make him retreat. After this, the last boss will show up. He has a fire wave that deals a considerable amount of damage. To protect yourself against it, use the small pool north to wet yourself so the fire wave doesn't take a lot of damage from you. 
you have to maintain distance from the bosses when you use the pool, otherwise they won't let you get wet. When the boss gets to yellow, the other bosses will come to help him. You will only have to focus him. When he dies, the other creatures and bosses will disappear and you will be able to loot him. Now, you are able to claim the Raskuhan outfit with the Shaman NPC. For the new familiar, you need to complete the hidden treasure questline, which is also part of this quest. This is a side questline, so you don't need to do the other Iceland events to start with this one, but you will need the cheesy key for the reward. You will have to learn a rhyme that you will need later. Go to Liberty Bay Corems and find Rita's letter. Then find a parrot on the same floor. Say Rita to him and he will tell you the first part of the rhyme. Now, go to Venor's east exit. You will find a rat NPC called Sniff. Ask for a mission and he will send you to the south of Plains of Havoc to recover some goods. Go there and follow the pattern to collect the goods. If you swim into a wrong tile, you will receive damage and you have to start over. After collecting the goods, take them back to him. He will tell you the second part of the rhyme. Now go deep into the Venor Swamp to find Raclette. She wants you to go to Eustacio's house and retrieve an item of him. Go to Eustacio so he can tell you where his house is and he will mark it on the map. Go south of Venor and get in his house. Find his handkerchief and give it to Raclette and she will tell you the third part of the rhyme. For the fourth part of the rhyme, just go to Thai's prison and click on a wall with some writings. And now you know the rhyme. The last part of this quest consists of a mission with Captain Kuhan, which is located in a teleport north of Raskuhan. Make sure you have the cheesy key with you. When you pull the lever, you will find yourself in a raft with Captain Raskuhan. He will be shouting events happening on the journey and you will have a number on you. This is your score and you should not let it drop to zero or you will fail. The first event will have some wins that you need to lure to the middle of the raft. Each one of them will grant you points to increase your score. After this, several events will appear that can damage your ship by taking points off your score. The captain will announce them so pay attention to what he says in orange text. You will have obstacles left off the ship. To destroy them, use the cannons on them. If they hit the ship, they will take away 5 points off your score. Also, termites will appear on the ship. You will have a small amount of time to kill them or they will also take away 1 point for each termite you don't kill. Besides that, Quaras will show up to destroy the crates with supplies. Lure them away and kill them. Each crate they destroy will take 5 points off your score. There are also sea serpents throwing water to the ship. Just avoid the wind and you will be fine. And some angry elementals will be spawning on the ship as well. But they don't take away points, just kill them. After some time, you will arrive to an island with a pink portal. If you know the four rhymes, you can pass through the portal where you will have two chests. One belongs to the familiar and a figurine of it, and the other is a small reward. Leave the island on the small raft north and you will finish this questline. And this is the complete questline of a pirate's tale. Thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you and subscribe for more guides like this. And that's it, I will see you on the next video.